A wise man once said, a good person can make another person good. It means that goodness will elicit goodness in the society. Other persons will also be good. My dad was a three-term counselor and a barangay captain. My mom was a counselor too. Growing up with parents who were public servants or um, politicians, every three years I would go with them during elections. They would go upstage and inspire many people, including me. It was always nice to see them amongst people. The people of Paranaque continued to support them because they were always there through all the hardships they faced. Seeing people thank them for all the good they had done just by doing a job they loved was inspiring. They were like superheroes, but without capes. I was four years old when my mother brought me to preschool. Life was a lot different as a kid. Most stories that I read had important lessons about being a good person and those stories always had happy endings. Superheroes always did the right thing even when no one was looking. It was then I learned that no matter how powerful villains seemed in those stories, the superheroes always won. Always. My father grew up in a small town in Araqueta, Zamboanga. Anak siya ng mangingisda at magsasaka. He had 14 siblings and he valued education. He even worked as a tricycle driver, but because he was determined to live a life he was proud of, he wanted to give back when he finally had the chance. He became a public servant in Paranaque and helped people who went through the same life as him. He helped the poorest of the poor, tricycle drivers. He was really different. For 15 years, he kept trying to make this world a better place. My dad was a hero. But just a few years back, he passed away. Now, it's my time. I decided to run for my first position in public office. I wasn't really sure if I was ready for this, but I knew this was my calling. The Philippines is known to be such a corrupt place and I want to make a change. I've always waited for this moment, to be different from the rest, to be a real public servant like my dad, and not like the corrupt politicians I always hear about. My childhood dream of becoming a superhero was turning into a reality.
Kamusta ka na? I'm really good, bro. Ang ganda-ganda nga ng view dito. Thanks for bringing me here. So, how do you feel about being a Kagawad? Well, it's a lot of things, pero at the end of the day, you feel good kasi natutulungan mo yung mga tao. Ako, masaya ako ngayon kasi malapit na mangyayari yung gusto kong Taekwondo project. This is one of the best days of my life. Taekwondo project? Solid yun ah. Tara, ano, tell me more about it in the bar. Pasok muna tayo. In high school, I was part of our Taekwondo varsity team. So for my first project, I wanted to use what I already knew and share my skills to the community, specifically to the youth. The first program I created was the Free Summer Taekwondo program. We had six instructors and everyone who participated was excited to learn. This made me want to help more people in the future. I realized I have this capability, this capability to help people. May natitira pa bang pera sa'yo? Bakit po? Para sa solicitations. Kung papas ko lang ngayon, maraming tao ang binigay ng mga gifts. Meron naman akong konting pera. Bakit? Magkano ba yung kailangan? Kailangan natin 60,000. 60,000? Oo, oh, naman. May 71 associations na umasa sa atin na mag-provide para sa kanila. Eh, wala akong ganun pera. Eh, paano na yung gusto kong ibigay para sa family ko? Ay, hindi ko na problema yun. Ang kailangan natin, yung pera, para sa mga, dito nga sa mga taong humihingi sa atin. Ay, pwede bang hindi nalang bigyan yan? Ay, hindi pwede. Ano yung sasabihin nila ito kasi, ibang kagawad. Ang dami nilang binibigay kasi ikaw wala nang bibigay sa kanila. Ano ba yan? Pwede bang hindi ko nalang bayaran to? Ikaw bahala kung hindi mo sila bigyan. Sa'yo rin babalik yan. Kasi, dapat kasi may babayaran ng 60k para sa mga so- solicitations. 60k? Yeah, kasi kagawad ako, kailangan ko daw magbigay ng solicitations and I can't refuse them. You know why? Kasi I have to take care of my image. So, pasan mo ako yung 60k? Yun I just spent all of my salary on buying things that I want and I was even thinking of using that salary to buy gifts for my family. Now I can't even do that because lahat ng salary ko ngayon na 17k mapupunta lang doon pati bonus ko. 16k kailangan mo. Yeah. Ano ba ano yung mga hinihingi nila? Ano? No. Mga electric fan, minsan solicitation nila, pera lang. So magbibigay ka, tatlong daan, limang daan. Kasi mag election na rin eh, soon. So paano mo kukunin yung 16k? So stressed, man. So, ano makailangan doon? Ayaw ko na pag-isipan. Labas na lang tayo, pare. Sige, relax ka muna. Sana yung sa libre mong pati 
Nagdarin mo na ba yung mga Christmas solicitations mo? Sobrang dami, no? Oo nga eh. Kasi nga yung sahod ko pati yung 20th Monday ko, nauubos na kami gaya ng mga pamas ko eh. Ganun pa talaga yun? Lahat ng mga request ng association, kailangan natin patulan. Ganun talaga eh. Pinasok natin ito eh. Uy! Ganun ako po, hindi ganun. Ganun ako. Tara, pasok tayo. So, ito offer ko sa inyo. Kung lahat ng gagawad magkakaisa, lahat tayo magkaka-50,000. Pero kung may isa sa inyo tumanggi, hindi lahat tayo wala. So, ano sa tingin mo? Okay talaga ito sa amin, Cap, kasi marami talaga kami yung kailangan bayarin. As children, we were told to be fair to others. Surrounded by role models, our parents, our community elders who tell us to be good. Can one person really make a difference in this world without feeling any temptation? I never really wanted to be a bad guy. It's either you're with them or against them. That's what they told me. But it's more complicated than that. The truth is somewhere between the lines. Good afternoon, Kagawad. Nandito na pi mga nasunugan. Sige, pwanda na ako.